Okay, so today we're taking a look at Planetiles. This is a puzzle game with a fairly unique premise. In this game you're basically filling a planet with tiles and trying to score as much points as you can. I just started up this game. I played this during the Steam Next Fest at the end of last year and this got released a week back. Let's jump into a level and I'll show you how this game works. Apparently I'm fifth on the leaderboard here. I have no idea if this is worldwide or not, but pretty cool. These other ones I'm not as good as, but let's take the first level as it is a bit smaller. Uh, we can choose some favorite structures. Uh, we can choose some plant protectors and then we get active technologies. I have chosen two that this gives me one more mission. Missions grants you points as we play and this one grants me more points for the missions as this one loses me points, but I get another mission. Then we got a primary goal and we get a special goal for each mission as well. If we go back to the other one, we got different goals for this one. So let's play. So this is the board that we're gonna play on and uh, it's not covering the whole planet. It's just a square. So we start by placing an island. Let's go over here. And then we have our first piece. So this one contains three desert and one forest. And these are randomized, what I'm gonna get. Next up, I'm gonna get two forest and two mountains. Then you get soil as well. On the right side, we see our three missions. So create an area of at least five forests to receive 80 points. Uh, at least five fields, not soil to get 88 points and then exactly four to get more points. And then we can right click to rotate this. On the left side, we also have a few missions that can grant us special tiles. Uh, so if we, if we fill nine of just sand, we can change the current missions. We get nine of fields. We can exchange the current chunk for a new one. And then we got forest that allows us to place a one time one forest chunk and same with mountains. This is very good for filling the entire playfield as we have 88 gaps and we get the most points if we can fill all of them. Uh, so if we're gonna go for this one, we need three with sand around it. So we could start with placing this one here and now we got forest and mountains. So we also wanna do these missions because that will grant us points. Now we got seven points and we got 10 of these chunks left and then we lose or we can't play anymore. So we have to finish the mission. We can also redo our last move if it wasn't happy with it. So let's see, let's go for, hmm, let's go for this. So we can create maybe nine of a forest uh, and we want five plus or four of four trees. So I guess we go for five we completed a mission, we get some points and we get a new mission, one forest. We can't do this, so let's go for that. We got three forest trunks here, so we can place them like this. We're one away from a nine. We got a bunch of dirt and a mountain range. So maybe let's do this. Because we get points when we place them closer to... So if I place this, I'm gonna get points for the mountains touching each other and the same with the forest. Uh, if I place this one over here, I won't get as much points because the mountain isn't touching another mountain. So that's something to think about as well. So if we see here, I get one for the mountains and five for the forest touching. And now we have nine of the forests, so we can upgrade this one. And we get one of these. So we can place a one time one forest. That's kind of good for completing this mission uh, and also filling out the board. But I think we're gonna go for, we're gonna go this. I got two mountain ranges here. Let's place you guys here. We got three, ooh. Almost get the the island. Uh, so let's place you there. And we got two fields. One away from nine here as well. And we got one of you. You are alone. That's a great start. I'm not super happy about this tile. And yeah, you, you have to place it next to another tile. You can't place this one over here. It's not possible. So you have to kind of be strategic. We, we go over here. Three forests. Let's do this. Need to place four by themselves though. Let's undo this one and place you guys here. We complete that mission. And we need four sand. We don't yet. Let's do that. Five forests now. That's, that's a chunk of nine, yes. And this is a chunk of four. So placing this one will not complete the mission because we need exactly five. Uh, 
So maybe let's do this. What's a one? We could go like this and we complete that mission and we get to make a choice. So Super Mountain Observatory. Every new observatory will add two tiles instead of one. An observatory is this one. The downside of this is flood. The flood will turn some of the shoreline tiles into swamps or Pioneer's Oasis. Every new Pioneer Oasis will give special two remote island chunks instead of one. The solar storm makes all the structures unusable for seven turns. Seven turns, I will almost be done with the game by then. So I think we'll go with this one. And yeah, we see the shoreline getting sunken down into a swamp. Um, and I don't exactly know what this does, but I don't think we get bonus points for placing anything close to this because we're not placing the swamp. Okay, we need five forests. So this is kind of good, actually. And go like this. This is very unfortunate because we almost had nine of the fields. Now we get only sand missions. So we need one, four, and ten plus. So this is eight. That's very close. We could complete the single one immediately. Four. That's a good one. We could wait and hopefully we'll fill it out with four down here. Or four here is good as well for the other mission. And we get some mountains. I still need four. Yeah, let's do... I do want to fill out the board completely as well. So we, we, we do that. Oh, we could do nine. No, is this sunken or not? Oh, it's sunken. That's sad. Yeah, let's fill this one out. Ooh, we got eight. Ten is what we need. So that's two. Oh, that's an unfortunate placement. That's not a good placement at all. That's not good either. We have to go with this. 10, nice, 16, that's not doable, that's unfortunate. And we got some mountains, we could actually do the 9 mountains, I would have loved a tile swap now. Yeah, this is devastating. As we got 2 forests and 2 sand, we can't place a 4 anywhere, and it even says that. We got 1 forest left, and we're done. And that's when you end the mission, so we can see that the apps left on the planet was 7. And we hit a 1.3 bonus, uh, so we wasn't even close to got times 3. Basic points, so total 1,138. One Score at least 500 points, we will do that, not 2,000. And fill the planet so there are no more apps. Nope. Finish. And we can see here, chunks. It took us 25 turns, and we played for 576 seconds. We had 12 chunks left, and we placed these. We got one structure. So not the best. Uh, so I'm very far away from, from my all-time best here. But I, I filled out the entire board and had a bunch of bonuses. And if I show you another map, just quickly. This one goes all the way around the planet. This one is way more interesting to play. I like this map. It's fun to play. And if we go out and take a look at this one. I haven't even touched this yet. This one... <laughs> It's quite big. So this one will be very interesting to play on. And you can also play the tutorial if you want to learn the game. And then you have an overall level for your account. And that will unlock you new technologies that you can use. We can have two of these active. So they will grant you different stuff. Three more chunks at the start. 20% more points from missions, but no points from adjacent tiles. That's a way to play as well to maximize your points. I hope they add more planets, because there are kind of a few missions in the game. I would love more. But yeah, I do really recommend the game. Puzzle games to me need to be unique and do something different than any other puzzle game. And I think they really hit the nail on the head with this one, because I have never seen anything like this before. Yes, it's borrowing elements from a lot of other games, but the combination is perfect. Puzzle game is a really interesting genre, as it is hard to just copy-paste someone else's game. With an FPS or an RPG, you can basically copy-paste another one's game and put it in another universe. Puzzle game to me needs to be so much more innovative than just a copy-paste. Thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.